Hi, I'm Matt, also known as Dietrich Duman, and I'm going to explain some new Dalek mod features. The planet Scarvo, K9, some intricate TARDIS systems, dimensional rifts and an epic Dalek boss battle. Last update we added TARDIS flight, but the physics weren't quite accurate. We improved this. Look, the TARDIS now responds to the movement, it has inertia. Ed made beautiful animations with this, so it actually looks like it's flying and it's not just in a reskinned flight mode. However, sometimes it can get a bit bumpy, like here. And this will get worse and worse until your TARDIS is completely out of control. That's cause your fluid links are low for the accuracy. Now you need to go to check your fault locator, you see the accuracy is at 1%. Now you need to give it a lot of fluid links, but you can also find dimensional rifts. And if you fly your TARDIS or land your TARDIS near one in the nether, your accuracy level goes up. If the TARDIS is near a rift in the end, the flight time fluid links increase, so that means your flight time will be shorter. The rifts in the overworld, they fuel your TARDIS, but they also increase the fuel consumption fluid links. If those fluid levels are low, your TARDIS turns into my mum's car, which means it'll drink fuel and fuel. So keep those levels up and your TARDIS will be very economic. For this update, we made the recipe for the TARDIS easier. You don't need to go to the end and get Dragon's Breath or something. However, we have made something a bit more complicated. If you look at the destinations you can choose in a basic TARDIS, you'll notice that Scaro isn't on there and neither are the nether or the end. That's because you need to craft dimensional data cards. One for each destination. And if we make more planets in the future, you need those cartridges. This is how you craft the Scaro one. You need a plunger and a Dalek gun stick, like the Invasion Daleks and the Time War Daleks drop those. But you can also find them in Dalek ships. Once you've crafted them, you right click them on the Dimension Selection Panel or whatever it's named. And then we can finally go to Scaro. Welcome to the planet of the Ah! Okay, yeah, I forgot! Scarro is radioactive, at least the surface of Scarro, so I better order some anti radiation gloves. Now, you can get them from Kablam, you can also craft them, but that's really tedious. The biome we landed in is the biome the Daleks spawn, and actually, any more. There we go. Now, Scaro has three biomes. This red snowy biome, there's the forest, the irradiated, dead, petrified forest, and there's the swamp, which got green looking water that's absolutely disgusting. To protect against radiation, you can also wear metalert armor. How to get metalert, you learn later. Or you can just stay underground, because underground there's no radiation only on the surface blocks. Now these little friends here are called Magnodons, and they're neutral, but you can try and kill them and you get some steel, not a lot. There's also clams, and if you kill them, you get steamed clams. Trust me, no lies, really steamed clams. Weeping angels now spawn in the overworld. I haven't encountered one yet, but I heard they can steal your TARDIS key and send you into the past, into Minecraft Classic, and there's loads of new variants as well. There's also statues, and with the redstone signal, you can change what position the statue is in. I'm scared, so I'm gonna buy a dog to keep me company. Yes, you can buy K9 from Kablam your trusty old robot dog friend. And if you right click it, you tame it and it becomes yours. And if you right click it again, you can tell it to sit or to follow you. You can use certain dyes to give K9 a color. Not all dyes work. And for each die, there's also a corresponding hat and scarf you can give him. So he becomes 
extra cute. There's a small bug at the moment where if you log out, you need to retain K9, but I think that'll get fixed in the future. Now, we banished Cyberdromes from the planes by him. We, you can turn them off in the config and they are much weaker now. You, they're, they, they're not the menace they used to be. Now, K9 at the moment is on fire and I don't think he knows. K9, fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Now, if K9 is damaged, you can give him some redstone circuits and he'll heal. He'll say something like, power supply, low, and then, you know, you need to feed him. Now, come on, K9, show them what you're capable of. Kill a Dalek for me. There you go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're, you're a good boy. Now, your TARDIS can crash. And for, to prevent that from happening, you need a panel interface, because all your TARDIS panels have health now. Yes, let's check one of the panels. Now, I haven't really flown this TARDIS, so they got no damage. But if they do have damage, you need to repair them with a repair kit, like this. And if you want to prevent them from breaking so quickly, you need to upgrade them with certain circuits, like it starts with the lowest material and then it increases. I've already upgraded mine, so this one needs a golden TARDIS circuit. And put it in that slot, maybe I need to press a button or something. There we go. Yes, we've done this because the TARDIS recipe is easier, but you need to put in some more effort into maintaining your TARDIS. So, if your TARDIS is crashing, check your panel health. And to keep track of your TARDIS, we've added a state detector. Now this can check different states of the TARDIS, like whether it's flying or not. And for example, if it's flying, it'll emit a redstone signal. Whilst other states, like fluid links, are percentage based. So for example, if the fuel is uh, at 50%, it'll send out a redstone output, but they'll go like seven or eight blocks. So people who are good with redstone can use these panels to like rig up all kinds of things with lights to show how well your TARDIS is doing. For the nerds, John added a TARDIS computer and a TARDIS printer. Better give it some paper and some ink and check the coordinates so that the TARDIS can link up. Here you can do all kinds of commands, but if you want to print something you have to add the printer. The version I'm using got an annoying bug that I'd need to add one extra number to all the negative numbers and I hope that gets fixed at some point. There we go. And now I can print stupid things. Ah, how does the print command work? Print... Hello? Print... Hello? Yes! Hello? Printer? <gasps> what does it say in the printed paper? Hello! I'm a genius! Now, I'm not gonna work this all out for you. Just You just figure out all the commands and how all the colors work. If you like this feature, you're the kind of person who likes figuring out how this works. This update also added a big boss battle. I'm here on Scaro, and I've located Storm's ruins nearby, somewhere here. I've cheated and used the locate command. Here we go. In these ruins, Dalek Storm can spawn. He was supposed to be a Dalek in the 40th anniversary. You play some blocks on top of this spawn. What these blocks are is a bit random. It even asked for netherite once. But the Dalek Plunger is the last block or the last item always. Now I'm gonna trap it. I'm gonna let Dalek Storm spawn and blow it up with TNT just like John would. Got the redstone torch ready. Okay. Oh! There it is! Okay! Go! No, 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 that's the wrong block, that was the wrong block! Uh, K9, help me, K9! I've got loads of golden apples, because else I'm gonna die so badly. I'm gonna... I'm gonna b get, let some friends help me. K9s, I've got uh, an iron golem that can protect me. Here we go. 
Oh, the, the radiation effects of the mobs as well. K9 is exempt, but all your dogs, don't take them to Skaro. They die. Ugh. Let's use this unit gun. Ah, it's jamming a bit. I'm still using the golden bullets. If you press the button next to B, that weird bracket, it switches which, which bullet it uses. And Dark Star bullets are the most powerful ones. They can be found on Dark Star meteorites on Skaro. Oh god, it's coming close! Get away from me! Ah! Get him, get him, get him! Uh, run away! Dalek Storm has various stages, and each stage has a different attack mode. I don't know all by heart, but oh god, they get increasingly difficult. I can use my shield to block its lasers, luckily. There we go. And my Iron Golem is doing some good work. <gasps> stage 3, extra power. I'm gonna get my TNT and lure it back in. I'm gonna blow it up elsewhere. Oh, it's already here! Um. Um, I have to get out. I have to get out. Come on. Oh, that's way too many Daleks. I'm on fire. Yes, of course. There's a stage where he just spawns Daleks, including special weapons Daleks. The Time War variant. That black one in the distance, that's a special weapons Dalek which shoots explosions. Come here. Come here. I'm going to blow you up. There we go. Come on. Yes. There we go. Oh, <laughs> on to the next stage, artillery mode. No, oh. <laughs> you might have noticed. Ah, it's flying and it's shooting artillery bullets. Oh, ah, I'm wearing Dalekanian boots because Dalekanian boots. Oh. Don't give you fall damage! Ah! <laughs> Ooh. No, 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 no! Else, you're gonna die instantly! Oof. When fighting Storm, always wear Dalekanium or Metalert boots. Ugh. Is it gone? There's two Daleks left there. Now, usually, I just spawn in a lot of canines. The canines can deal with these other Daleks, and they're a great distraction. It hurts, but the canines have got to die. If you manage to kill Storm, you get a vial of metal alert, or maybe even three. Oh, there it is! Oh, I, I was stupid. Ah! Come on! You should use looting on the item you're gonna kill Storm with, because then he drops. Ah! Way more metal alert. And that's the strongest armor out there. It... Come on. It's almost down. Half its health. Oof. No! Come on! Just die! Ah! K9, do something! Stop shitting around! It's right after me! Oh god! No, 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 no! Oh! I should you. I need more weapons. I need better weapons. Ah! It's behind that tree! Ah. I'm dying, I'm dying! Ooh. Huh. No, no, it's shooting through the leaves! I was once in a perfect position, it shoot me up and I could just shoot down every time. Now the shield is useless here, the explosions are still gonna kill me. Ah, this is jamming too much, I'm using my Dalek gun stick. Dropped by special weapons Daleks and found in spaceships. Oh, full power mode. Alright, it's time to take out the big guns. A Dalek can. Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's a good one. I have no idea if this item can even be found in survival. I didn't check. I cheated it in. Ha ha! Because now I can finally kill it! Come on! Last stage! No! I was almost there! I was 
almost I had it. Ugh. If you manage to kill Storm, there's even a 40% chance it'll drop a Storm music disc.